Hey everyone, I'm Sheila Watko. Today I'm here with my friends, the Heydays. Welcome to the Woo! YouTube Space Woo! New York. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm really excited to talk to you guys because I love Ditto. your EP. It's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, you guys have like the perfect summer soundtrack, really. Oh, and I know so you put much. out your first single February 2014. Yeah, we put out our first song on the internet in February 2014, but it was a very, it was a different lineup back then. Um, it was me and Andrew, but he, neither of these two had joined the band yet. Um, so we started getting traction, <laughs> but uh, this EP that we just put out last week really kind of marks the beginning of a new era for the band. I'm so excited. I know the fans are really excited too. They are. And also, Enrique Iglesias is excited? <laughs> yes. Apparently. I saw him tweet about that. Yeah. How do you guys, do you know him or he's just super pumped for your music? Yeah, we kind of do know him. Um, I lived in Miami for a summer and met Anna Kornikova and they have, what? Uh, I guess, a thing. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, she's great in many ways. And then, um, yeah, so he's been really supportive. He actually was the one who encouraged Jesse and I to kind of start a band. So yeah, we, we actually kind of follow our phone call with him and yeah, he's been amazing, yeah. and so and he, he supports it, and he tweeted it out, which is awesome. Are you guys ever going to do an Enrique cover song, like a little Be My Hero Baby? Not a bad idea. Not a bad, Not a bad idea. idea. Yeah, you guys just dropped your first EP. Yep. Um, it's doing really well on iTunes so far. Yeah. What's it like to watch that just keep climbing the charts? Uh, the first day was just insane, because we were super psyched about about dropping the EP, but we none of us had really even like discussed the iTunes charts. We were just excited to be getting music out there and all of a sudden was, Tyler sends yeah. us a group text and it's like we're 20 on the iTunes pop charts and we're all just like what and then as the day goes on we're like 15 12 10 8 and we're just we there there was literally a point where we were all just like standing in a room together and we talk a lot and we were literally speechless <laughs> Alexander like, hugged me for the first time I think ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he never lets me hug I don't him. Let him hug yeah. me but it, it was cool. insane and we, uh, we made a uh, 50 what were, what were 58, we 58, 58 on the overall charts. So it was a, it was a crazy day. Congratulations, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. You reached number eight on the iTunes charts. Now Sirius Hits One is playing your single Sirius song. Sirius XM Hits One. Sirius <laughs> XM Hits One. Where were you guys when you first heard yourselves on the radio? Cruising around. We were cruising around. We had actually been told what time it was going to play. We, or we, we'd, been to, we'd been told it was going to play after Jason Derulo. So nice. we were cruising around in Short Hills, New Jersey, in, uh, where Andrew lives. Uh, Short Hills and, Mall? Uh, yeah. Solid uh, Mall. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Deli. And Derulo came on. Yummy, yummy. So every every time we go anywhere, we do this thing they're called like um, buzzwords. Buzzwords. This is, this, we don't okay. have buzzwords. So so like if someone if we're in a meeting, someone says like dynamite, we all go kaboom. <laughs> so today today the buzzword we knew David might say deli. <laughs> <laughs> the buzzer was down. He's like, I'm gonna get slimed on my figure it out. <laughs> figure no it out? Oh my Summer. gosh. Summer. <laughs> I got slimed in fourth grade. Me too. Wait. Oh my god. In the um, Universal Studios? No, no is that some like benefit or something? Okay, but it okay. was a figure it, it out. It tastes part. good, right? Yeah. It tastes like applesauce. Apple apple yeah. Apple. <laughs> Wait, you guys gave a shout out to your friend over here. Come on in the screen. David Cantor. Say hello. Cantor, everyone. We're getting the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys were driving around together. <laughs> yeah, driving. so we were driving yeah. around together. We had been told that we were going to play after Jason Derulo. So his sweet, sweet voice came on the radio and we, we went nuts. <laughs> yeah, and then. Yeah. Uh, and then our song came on, and we were blasting it and singing it at the top of our lungs, and it was an amazing, amazing experience. Yeah. And now we've just been, it's been so cool getting like texts and Snapchats the, the last few days, like hearing you're on the radio yeah. right now. It really will never get old to yeah. like, be on the radio. It's pretty surreal. All right, so Tyler, my boy over here, what is up, the newest Tyler? member. Right. So how'd you guys find each other? I know, Tyler, you do a lot of drum covers on YouTube. Did you guys find him through YouTube? Kind of. Story. Kind of, sort of. A, a little bit. Um, so Andrew and I had a mutual friend that he grew up with. I played in a band in college with, and uh, he just kind of put us in touch. He knew they were looking for a drummer. I was kind of doing music, but not really doing anything. Um, so he put us in touch. You know, we saw this. We, we checked him out on YouTube. This magical long-haired kid drumming to Kanye. <laughs> yeah. We need him. We need that we kid. Need him. And I know that the fans already really love Tyler. I actually pulled some of my favorite fan comments from Twitter. <laughs> Nice. Oh, wow. This is What Up Jay with two Y's. I'm so confused. He looks like a country music star. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. I love that. I love that. Valerie Rose says his flow is on, and she put a little point. <laughs> it is on. That's fair. Aureli Constancio, great oh. hair, Tyler. <laughs> great hair. Natalie <laughs> Kalin. For a minute, I thought I was looking at Josh Groban. Josh <laughs> <laughs> Groban. I have this house all the time. So. <laughs> like, Josh, you're a drummer. <laughs> 
<laughs> my favorite, I think, was from Laura Hines, is that hosier. <laughs> <laughs> These are amazing. <laughs> so the fans love you already, These are which good is dogs. great. Those gave us a lot of new nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> he already, he already has a bunch of nicknames. Yeah. What are his nicknames? I don't think I've called him the same Tyler, Tyson, Reginald, Reggie, oh, Reg, Reg, Sir Reg, oh, Alfredo. Reg, Alfredo Jones. Reggie, Reggie's a funny story. Reggie. Andrew, Andrew, before we even, we like knew we wanted a, a new member. And uh, Andrew just declared that the new member must be named Reggie. So we really <laughs> saw, uh, searches for a Reggie, a real Reggie, didn't really pan out. But we found Tyler, and uh, so he's been. So Reggie's been our Reggie. 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 Like a few yeah. weeks in from his brother. <laughs> yeah. Reggie, we like hadn't told him. <laughs> and then, and then, I my brother just called him Reggie. And then he, and Tyler's like, "Who's Reggie?" <laughs> really? Oh yeah, oh, you're, you're Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> and let's do like a little bit like of an inside scoop on Tyler. So what? Oh. What are his like best and worst qualities? Would oh, you say? Oh. Best qualities? That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> worst qualities. He snores. Oh, he, he snores. snores. That's, oh. His that's his worst quality. Tyler snores. I do snore. Sometimes when he's awake. <laughs> <laughs> his best quality, one of many. He likes to have fun. Which yeah. Was, which was yeah. a big. He was he's like, also. You, you needed to join this band. You, you need to like to have fun. And Tyler definitely likes to have uh, fun. I actually asked our mutual friend like about Tyler because you know, he's going to join the band. It's a big deal. He said he's quote one of the best chillers of all time. And, and he I is. Would say he's, he like, is. He's he could be on the Mount Rushmore of chillers. Yeah. <laughs> He's also that's a huge it's like him. Like, yeah, because, you know, he's, also, he's also pretty good at the drums. We'll give him that. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, <laughs> he's pretty good at the drums. He's got great stick tricks. What's All your favorite right. one? What's your best one? Favorite one? I've been working on the, the front flip. A lot of people do like a back flip, you know, that's kind of a classic. I've been trying to do this like yeah, the front flip. I don't know. He <laughs> 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 also, you also plays stick. drums both righty and left. My drum teacher growing up would only let me play open handed with like le left hand leading. Just because that's the way he did it, he's like, it's a good way to learn, so now I can kind of do some whiplash shit. And Tyler, what's the best and worst part so far of joining the band? Ooh. Joining the band? Yeah. Answer wisely. Yeah. He's <laughs> actually going to sign his contract after yeah. this. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're on our way there next. <laughs> yeah, Don't fuck up this answer, man. Um, worst part? I mean... There's there's a minor pledging process, I guess you <laughs> Oh! Like, a, lot of, a lot of, you know, if there are three beds, I get the cash. Yeah. Sitting, in the middle. Of, sitting in the middle of the bars. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's to be expected. That's fine. I can handle that. Um, that. That's the worst part. The best part, I've only played a couple shows with these guys so far, but the two shows we did play were amazing. Um, we opened The first show I played was in Providence, which is like right next to my hometown. Yeah. And we opened for Panic at the Disco, which is like... That's I huge! The, disco, yeah. the live show is also just evolved completely with Tyler, and it's like... Yeah. It's a in what way? It's a we're like, you know, we are a band now. You know, we obviously we've always been a band, but um, in some of the earlier productions and stuff, it sounded like most of the stuff was done in a studio synths and programmed drums, and now we're trying to move our sound towards a more organic sounding, rockier sound, and that really now shines through in the live show because we have a certifiable rock and roll drummer. Hoser, man. Hoser. Josh Roman. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, we make pop music. It's what we do. But uh, the live show is we all play instruments. You know, it sounds like a band and it sounds like more of a rock show, which is what we wanted. And Tyler helped us get there. Now let's talk more about your live show. So if you could build a dream tour, who would it be? Hootie and the Blowfish, Mozart. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 uh, we could probably saw probably Sierra. <laughs> oh, One, two, step. Tour. All right. One, two, yeah. step. That's a fucking tour. Wait, that's a really yeah. good tour. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, Where would you lot. perform? What's your dream venue? For, if you had one night on this tour. Amsterdam every night. <laughs> oh, good choice. Good choice. What's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you guys at a live show? We were playing a show in Connecticut and uh, for a radio station. Oh. And I see this girl and she's like waving her arms. I'm like, whatever that happens, like, you know, maybe I'm playing well or something. <laughs> and all of a sudden, that, that must be it. That must be it. Like, oh, she loves my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she loves my new hair or something. Yeah. Um, and all of a sudden, something comes flying out of the audience and it's her cell phone. And I'm like, what the fuck? And so I pick it up and she's like, and she's, like, I'm like she's like 12, so I'm not going to put my number in her. Right? <laughs> right. I don't know what she wants. And then she's like, film it, film it. So I propped the, the phone up on my amp and filmed. I was playing from on stage, got a sick video, and then threw it back to her after the song. And then she snuck back, this girl's crazy, she snuck backstage after the show and we watched it together. So that's, awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, that's I liked our it. first show, so we were opening on the Jesse McCartney tour. Oh, yeah, cool. It was his first time ever playing with us. Uh, um, he'd actually just learned to drum like literally five days before. <laughs> <laughs> that's what? not a joke. Yeah. Um, and we were playing in Silver Spring, Maryland. 
Yeah, and, shout out Silver uh, Spring. Shout out Love Silver Spring. Silver Spring. Silver Spring. Um, and we were, you know, we were excited, but we were nervous. We didn't know what this was going to be like. We were the first of, of two openers on a Jesse McCartney tour, so. But we walked on stage and literally, <laughs> I was, like, I had a dream. The whole Nuts. place went ape shit, and, like, we played the set, and it was a great set. And then afterwards, when we were leaving, there was literally, like, a line of girls, like, they were waiting for Jesse McCartney, but, <laughs> but, 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 crazy for but they went insane for us, and it was like this insane, uh, we, we felt we were like Beatles. we were the Beatles yeah. on our first night ever playing a show, so yeah. that was pretty, pretty insane. That's amazing. It was, it's been downhill since that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get weird things, like, bras thrown at you, or... I know sometimes I that's the thing. I would say there's a severe lack of bras. Right <laughs> so if you're listening to a handmade show, please bring an extra bra. <laughs> or you could, you know, use the one that's not good. So, uh, we'll yeah. Right Wait, I want to hear more about this. So you learned to drum to join so this band? Join the band, yeah. I was friends with them and I've been playing with them. Uh, guitars, just, guitar just at school, but uh, you, what were you playing? You're playing I'm guitar, playing guitar, guitar whatever, okay. whatever was available. We were uh, jamming a bunch. He's two years younger than me, and then one night we were out, uh, a little, yeah, dumb as we'll say, dumb, yeah. <laughs> sitting in the bar, and I was like, you should learn to play drum, join my band. And then, and then. The next day, I was like, you should learn to play drums and join the band. He was like, okay. And so we learned, and it wasn't great at first, but he but he learned pretty quickly and, and got and got good. And by the time we were on tour, he was a pretty proficient drummer. That's crazy. Did you learn on YouTube, or are you just naturally music inclined? Did you take lessons? Yeah, I was just watching videos of Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> he really taught me. No, I, I was just... Uh, just practicing a lot, just tr playing along with my iPod, just putting on shuffle and just playing along. So you taught yourself? Yeah, it took a couple what? lessons, but um, I just knew I had to get good fast, so I just played like four or five hours a day until I was okay. Yeah. Were you really nervous your first time doing it live? You want to know what he did the first time we ever had a show? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we, we, we literally, literally question? No, I was not. <laughs> okay. I was really excited. We literally got out of the van we, at our first <laughs> venue. Yeah. And we're like, all right, we're packing up. I'm sending them my guitar. They're like, Alexander, set up your drums. And he's like, okay, okay. And he's like, uh, I forgot my drums. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring a single You're the drummer. <laughs> you forgot your drums, man. I had to go to like the nearest music store, and it was like three hours before the show. I was like, I need everything. Well, like, <laughs> well, like every hundred dollars yeah. worth of shit. Like way more than that. I'm not gonna talk about that. I ended up returning it, mom and dad. So we're cool. Like, got everything back, but uh. Yeah, that was an uh, interesting first experience. Have you guys toured all four of you together yet? No. Just that's going to be a shit show. You said it's you love being on the road we earlier. Love with at this at this stage it's a mix of like feeling so like cool and like glamorous and then so the opposite. Like <laughs> yeah. you go and and fans treat you like, you know, you like you're legit and like freak out for you. And then get we the hop van. back in the van. Go to the we Motel 6. Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> we wake up early, go to Denny's, yeah. which is glamorous in its own. That's delicious. Yeah. 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 The Grand Slam best. breakfast? All oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <over my head. laughs> but no, it's just, it's, it's crazy. We, um, in the last year, we really covered most of the country, which was incredible, you know. Um, a bunch of states we'd never been to before, you know. A lot, a lot of really cool ones. We, we hit New Orleans, yeah. we hit. Um, I don't know what else. There's a point where we were. In, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know we, we went through Texas and Arizona and St. Louis and just you know seeing a bunch of the country that I'd never really been. I don't know about you guys. I've never really been in like the Midwest or really other than LA out west at all. So it's pretty cool. So on tour, let's do some superlatives. Who is the messiest? Okay. Just messiest. Okay. Just okay. Not even on tour. Just Overall, everything. Just just everything. Just yeah. Every day. Be for Who's the most fun at a party? We all have different types of fun. All right. All I'm right. gonna nominate myself for that one. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. I think I'm pretty fun. Like, I have yeah. great dance moves, first of all, and they just get better throughout the night. Jesse can't dance, just for the record. <laughs> just I the can record. move. Dancing. I can move. He qualifies that every time. I, I can move. I have good movement, but I can't, I can't dance. Who's the biggest diva? Jesse, yeah, not even really? Yeah. All the drink, time or just on If he doesn't drink every nice coffee every three hours, it's like, <laughs> you don't want to be near him. Yeah. Who's the best cook? Me, probably. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I don't know how to cook anything. I don't know. We haven't done uh, much cooking. Probably I Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> I right. haven't seen him just cook anything really. <laughs> I know that these two can't cook shit, so. Okay. <laughs> Me and Jesse uh, one time tried to, to, oh, we made, we tried to, we were in LA, we tried to make a pre-made pizza. All you have to do is put it in the oven. 
and I had to FaceTime my mom, he's talking <laughs> to his dad. <laughs> no idea what to do. We're pretty confused yeah. individuals. Who is most likely to bring a fan back? Spellman. <laughs> whatever you were gonna say, it's it's him. Yeah. Has there been an incident? Yes, yeah, actually. A couple. Let's not get into yeah. it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what, 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 uh, well, he doesn't know who's watching this, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. We lost him one time. We lost him that way. A couple times. Oh, yeah. shoot, after the show? Yeah. Oh, we no. almost went to, like, a city eight hours away without him, so. I like to tour the area. Yeah. <laughs> See, Meet the locals. What yeah. are some things the fans don't know about each of you? No. Before that, can I say one thing about all of us? Yes. We are the best basketball band in the in the world. And so if any band is watching this, which I maybe, I don't know. <laughs> we fucking challenge you. Yeah. Oh, let's do like a, like an ice bucket challenge. You can nominate three bands to challenge oh, three bands. To basketball. And we'll like tweet them. Basketball. G unit. G unit, definitely. <laughs> Migos. Migos. Five SOS. We play music in our downtime. We're actually basketball players. <laughs> so, good. Yeah. Good dirt. Nice. Dirt. All right, so one fact about each of you that the fans don't know. Uh, as a child, I was on Sesame Street. You were? Yeah. Were you a recurring cast member? No. Well, depends. Do you call Ernie a recurring cast member? <laughs> <laughs> I was Ernie. <laughs> no, I was like in like... I didn't know that. You mean I was in. Now? I was on Elmo's World uh, in in the bathtub, rubber duck, rubber ducky segment, and I was also I played like a rubber band banjo in a in a Bert and Ernie segment. Um, this is uh, this I is true. Really this is true. I can't tell if you still on. I I swear to you, this is true. I'm actually the best basketball player in the band. <laughs> um, he's pretty good. He's probably second best. Wait, wait, my my fact is gonna be on the best basketball. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm the best. Uh, it's not even close. No, it's just... But, uh, do you guys want to talk about the last game we played or no? No, I think so. Yeah, okay. let's do it. Me and Jesse oh, took Oh, snap. It was good, it was good. Play that. Okay, we don't need to get into this. All right, <laughs> yeah, that's all we got. <laughs> I'm the best basketball player in the band. Me? Uh... I can solve a Rubik's Cube um, very, very, it's insane. very Look quick, up. very quickly. Andrew Spellman, World Cube Association. Wait, when, when, <laughs> what, what year were you the, uh, whatever you were? Uh, in 2007, I was the 25th fastest Rubik's Cube in the country, whatever that means. Insane. But I've what? since retired Just my fingers, really fastest fingers in the It's crazy. Can you still do it, like if I brought out a Rubik's Cube? Because yeah. funny you should say that, oh. actually. Oh. That'd be cool. We're on Instagram at the heydays. And I'm, I'm like Alexander, the more I drink, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and you'll see him uh, do Rubik's Cube pretty Just fast. like 20 seconds, maybe? Yeah. He's, he doesn't have the 14 second touch he used to have, but he's still pretty impressive. Hey, Tyler, fun fact. Fun fact. I'm I mean, I don't really have a fun, fun fact. He's just, like, he's just, just fun 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 to all his facts yeah. are fun. I mean, I like, <laughs> I played in a okay, like, reggae covery band in college. Right. So have you guys done roller skating with him? He's a really good roller skater. We oh, have. Wow. Yeah. He's, he's a great no, roller, roller skater. skater. Yeah, I, I kind of killed it. Like, the second time I had been roller skating, she was there. So thank you guys so much for talking with thank me. You. Thank you for talking Just, with us. You go out, check out the Hades EP, download it on iTunes. Spotify. Spotify. But if you want to download it on iTunes, download it on iTunes. Download it on iTunes. Download it on iTunes. Cool. And listen for them on Sirius XM Hits, Hits One. one. No. And check them out on social media. Twitter, at the Hades. Instagram, at the Hades. Snapchat, at Alexander Glance. Um, <laughs> no, at the Hades. Everything at the Hades. Excellent, and you guys are going to perform a song for us, so if yeah. you want to listen to their song, you can check out the links. I'll put them here and here. Yeah, you guys can put them <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, I always want to do And all their socials are going to be in the box below. It's always so awkward. <laughs> we're going to check out the link, link below. Right. <laughs> so thank you guys so much, and thank let's you. hear some thank music. Woo! She'll love what calls.